and we're back and you know what time it is it's fall y'all so it's the perfect time to show you everything that I've been gathering over the last couple weeks from Dollar Tree and Joann's because when the season starts creeping up I just get fall fever and I could not wait for them to release things and as soon as I started hitting the shelves I was there picking it all up and I got some good stuff so I'm so excited to share everything with you guys. I am such a fall junkie. Today actually feels a little bit like fall. It was about like 65 this morning. It's in the mid 70s right now. We're getting ready to make some beer brats for dinner and it just feels like fall. So I'm so excited. I love when the temperatures start to cool down but it's still sunny and the air is just crisp. So I am so excited for fall and so excited to show you guys everything that I got so that I can start decorating and celebrating my favorite season. Alright, well two of my favorite stores are Dollar Tree and Joann's. I love all the stuff that they have and I've just kind of really started getting into more of the Dollar Tree crafting scene. There are some really awesome YouTube channels out there that show you the really cool things that you can do with everything you can get from the Dollar Tree year round, but especially for seasonal crafts. And once they started coming out with their fall crafting vlogs, I knew it was time to start it. Hit up the Dollar Tree and see if they had their fall stuff out. And I got really lucky because the Dollar Tree in Fort Collins that's closest to the Joann's um, actually was one of the first stores to put out all of their fall stuff. So I was able to score pretty much everything that I was wanting. There was a couple things um, that I was hoping to nab that they didn't have in stock, but um, I think I kind of backfilled that from Joann's. So Dollar Tree was my first fall stop, and let me share everything that I got with you guys. I'm super excited to do some fall crafting. Um, so one of the things I was super excited to grab at Dollar Tree this year was their little signs. So these are awesome. They are literally one dollar and they look so nice. So I actually got two. I got one for myself and one for my mom, but these are gonna look awesome and my mom's out on the patio. They just have this nice metal stake and they're so cute. I love the little wagon and my mom loves bicycles. So I think these are so, so cute. So I had to pick up two of those. And then I also got some of their wooden signs. So we love pickup trucks around here. Wally loves pickups. So we like to decorate with our little blue truck that we got when he was born. Um, it's one of my favorite things that we have. And then this just was too cute. We love pumpkin patches. We love pumpkins. And it was in the back of a truck. So this was so perfect. And then I also picked up this one for my mom just because I thought it was so cute, the little home sweet home. I love both of these signs. And again, they're only a dollar. So they're awesome. I'm gonna put them out on my patio in my mom's. And if they get weather worn, it's not a big deal because they were just a dollar. And next year, I might actually like strip them and repaint them. And then they'll have a little bit more of like a worn vintage look. So great deal for a dollar. Was so excited to find those. So another thing that's awesome to grab from the dollar store is their florals. Um, and they do go pretty quick when they come out with their seasonal florals. Um, they get picked over. So um, I grabbed a bunch of these. I love to decorate our mantle every year. I use a lot of um, fake flowers up there. So excited to do that. And then I'm also hoping to do some floral Mickey ears for fall. Um, so I got some of these awesome sunflowers they're so pretty um, I love that this one kind of has some of the burnt orange in it so those are really pretty I think those are gonna be a great like kind of transitional um, flower I also got some of these just because I thought they were so pretty um, I don't know if you can see it but they kind of have a little bit of um, the uh, burlap in there so those are really really pretty I might try and use these ones um, for a fall Mickey ear we'll see but I thought those were gorgeous I also had those in red and orange. So I picked up all of these right here because they're just so cute. I love that it has the little like burlap. And this one's a little bit different and actually has like a burlap leaf in it. So those are so pretty. I also picked up some of these little like crab apples. 
I thought those were just really cute and would be fun for a fall floral display. And then I grabbed some of these burnt orange ones and some of these blue ones. We actually have a lot of blues in our living room and I just thought those would be really, really pretty for our mantle arrangement. So I love that they have this like blue and the burnt orange, just so pretty for fall. And then I got some just like big orange poppy flowers. Um, those are super fun and these work great for Mickey ears. Actually, they're an awesome floral to use in a, um, in a floral design. So I got those and then I picked up one sprig of leaves as well. So all of those florals are going to be awesome for so many things and for so many projects and they're just a dollar a piece. All right, so then I had to get some really fun decorative stuff and they have the cutest decorative stuff. Um, and especially this year, I feel like they had really good stuff. So I was really excited to find these, um, but I did get two of these. Um, they're just really, really pretty and you can like, they're actually like glass. Um, they're very well made. One of the ladies actually dropped one of them <laughs> while they were putting it in my bag and it was totally fine. So they're pretty industrial too, um, which we like in this house having a crazy little boy. So these were just so pretty. I think they'll be great to add to just some like mantle decor. Um, we also decorate our entertainment center right under our TV. Um, so I think these are just great to throw on anything. So I thought those were really pretty pretty. This was like the steal of the year at the dollar store. So if you have a Dollar Tree near you, I would suggest you run there and get some of these because they are absolutely gorgeous. But they are actually these little um, like mercury glass pumpkin candles and they are so pretty when you put a little candle in it. It just really glows and it shimmers through there. Um, a dollar! It's crazy! These are so pretty and they're they're really well made. Um, I'm super excited to get some pumpkin spice candles and put this out for the fall. So that one was awesome. I was so excited that they had those. Um, and then I kind of just got some fun little decorative things to add into floral arrangements, maybe use them with some ears, um, just kind of add them onto things. So I thought these were super cute. They're just these little um, pumpkins, little styrofoam pumpkins that I can stick into things, little picks. So I actually want to try and make some fall wreaths this year. I thought these would be perfect for the wreaths. Um, they also have these little pumpkins and they have the little like wire ties on the back. So I grabbed some of those because those are going to be great for all sorts of crafting this year and in the future. I love these. And I picked up one of these flower clips just because I thought that was so pretty. And I thought like as a wreath, this would be really, really cute to add in. And I like that it's just a little clip on the back so I could stick it in there. I could take it out um, and actually be good in our costume box too. If we ever needed like a costume piece to add on to something, it's just really cute. I thought it was really pretty and really fun. So I grabbed one of those and then I picked up two of these ribbon bundles because these are absolutely gorgeous. So pretty to add on to really anything. I could throw them on some of those pumpkins. I could put them in a wreath. Um, they'd be pretty on mini ears. So just lots of applicability for these and they're just really, really cute. And I love the pumpkins. And then these are perfect for all of fall, even Thanksgiving. So loved both of those. I picked up one of these little garlands. These are just really, really nice to have. Um, again, for different crafting projects. I actually like to wind them around on our mantle for our fall display. I think that's really pretty to do. So excited to grab one of those. I picked up these little scarecrows because I thought they were just so cute. I'm definitely gonna stick those in some of our floral arrangements on our mantle. I think that'll be really, really fun. I think I'm going to actually start celebrating in September um, by getting all of our fall stuff up. And I'll probably do kind of like a fall pumpkin um, scarecrow type display. And then um, once October hits, probably add in some more, like sprinkle in some more Halloween stuff. And then I'll pull that Halloween stuff out and then keep this stuff up um, through Thanksgiving. So I love that you can pull it out and really decorate it and it lasts for really three months. Um, so I think that's why I love fall because to me it just feels like kind of the longest season that you can celebrate and um, have good food and the temperature starts to cool down. It's not quite snowing yet. Um, there's lots of fun things to do outside. It's just, it's such a great season. 
So I also picked up two of these little pumpkins. Um, I really liked the brown one. I thought it was cute. The orange was like a little obnoxiously orange, but I've seen some really cool crafts that people have done um, where you actually just cut this off and then you can put in all kinds of really cute fabrics on them. You can paint the stems. So um, these are just a great way to get a cheap foam pumpkin in a nice size for a dollar. So I picked up two of those. And then the last kind of like decorative thing I got was these cute little bells. I love that they look like acorns. We always put one of these on our doorknob for Christmas, so I love that they had this for fall. I think that's just so cute and it's going to be really, really fun to put on our front door as you come into the house. So those were kind of all the fun little like decorative things I got. And then I got a couple other things that are decorative, but I'm planning on doing some crafts with them. So they have these beautiful burlap leaves and they have them in red, orange, and brown, which I love. And then you can actually get these guys. These are like the color of your own ornaments. They're just little wooden leaves and you can chalk paint these and then you put them, they fit perfectly over these burlap leaves. You can make an adorable banner and write like it's fall y'all or happy fall. Um, lots of cute sayings that you can put on these and put that up on the mantle or just leave them blank. And because they're a chalkboard, if you use a chalkboard paint on them, you can use them over and over again and change out that saying every season. So I'm super excited to make one of those this year. I thought that was just such a cute and creative craft idea. I also picked up one of these signs. Um, it's just kind of this plain um, cardboard type look, um, but these are really, really cute if you paint them with the chalkboard paint again, or just distress them. Um, really cute things you can do with it. Um, and I actually saw where they took this and then using some of the like poster board, you cut out a frame and I'll show you, I picked up some of the, um, what do you call that stuff? Um, it's like the plastic you put in drawers, I guess. Like, it's vinyl, basically. Um, but I picked up some really cute wooden vinyl rolls, and you can actually create a really cute wooden frame and put this in the middle, and it looks amazing. Um, and actually stick it over some plaid fabrics. So I'm really excited to do that as well. Um, it does say gather, which doesn't feel like the most appropriate saying for the times that we're in, but it definitely is one of my favorite sayings. We love having friends and family over, um, and even when we're in kind of these weird times and we're apart, we're still finding every way we can to get together with the people that we love. So um, I think that's a really cute saying. I also picked up these. Um, so these have three different sayings in it. It says thankful, harvest, and welcome, and they're just little metal words. And it's three metal words for a dollar. Um, so these are also really cute. You can stick these in a photo frame, put them over some plaid fabric, um, and just really, really cute. So I'm excited for all the different sorts of crafts that I can do with these guys. Um, I think these will be super fun. I hope they also release some of these for Christmas because I think they're just so, so cute. And I like that, I mean, one of them was welcome. So that's year round. It's really something we can use all the time. So that is my haul of more like decorative things. Well, then I decided this year I wanted to try and make a wreath or a couple of wreaths, one for Halloween and one for fall. So I picked up a couple of these. It's really nice that they sell these at the dollar store, but they actually have these metal wreath racks. So that was an awesome find. Um, in the past, I've gotten these off Amazon and they're kind of expensive. Um, so I was super excited that they had these and I did grab a wreath hanger as well. Um, I think we have one for Christmas, but I just love that this was orange and it was small and simple. Um, so excited to do that. I picked up a bunch of tool um, or I guess a decorative mesh. So I got this one, which I love. It looks like candy corn. Um, and I think it'll be super fun to just do like a general fall wreath with. I also picked up a glittery, glittery orange, a glittery purple, and a glittery black. So I think that will be great for a Halloween wreath. And then I did also pick up some of this glitter tool. Um, and I actually think I might go back and see if they have this in purple too, because I have some 5k races coming up and I think this would be super fun to make myself a Haunted Mansion tool skirt with. Um, so super excited that they had some tool there as well. And then I got 
ribbon. I found sparkle purple and sparkle orange. I already have a really fun craft project um, for a box swap that I'm doing that I'm planning on using this for. So excited to have that. And it's also just really nice to have some glittery ribbons. Um, these make awesome headbands. Um, if you sew some like velvet on the back, they're really, really awesome headbands to use. Um, and I love both the colors. So super excited to get find those. And then I picked up some of these. I got some fun little purple spiders and I thought these witch hats were just so cute and they really like make me think of Hocus Pocus because of the purple green and the orange um, and I picked them up for two reasons one I thought I can definitely use that for something cute I might make some like Hocus Pocus ears and stick in a witch um, witch hat or I just also thought they were great inspiration because they're pretty easy to make they're basically just a pipe cleaner that's woven around there and I thought you know what that might be kind of a fun craft that Wally and I could do so having those two kind of observe and see how they made them I thought that would be fun to have on hand and then I found these amazing headbands so like I said I'm planning on making some fall ears I want to do some Halloween ears I want to do some Hocus Pocus ears so I've got lots of ideas and I just love these headbands they're so nice they're like that faux velvet material um, and they're so like I love the colors so I found one in gray and one in purple at the one dollar tree and then I actually went over to the other dollar tree and snagged two more so these were hard to find um, these were the only colors I saw them in and like I said each dollar store in town only had two of them so I snagged those up real quick they were actually in the back to school stuff um, but I think those are gonna be awesome for many years I also picked up a ton of lights. Um, they have really awesome LED light sets there. Um, so I picked these up. We actually had a set of these last year. Wally was the grave digger. Um, yes, the actual like grave digger monster truck for Halloween. And my mom made him this awesome grave digger out of cardboard. And then we actually lined it with these lights and it was such a cool effect. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna need another set of those because you just never know when you're gonna need some purple LED lights and they just have a really cool effect. I also picked up these in orange and purple, um, but these are actually like a string light, and I thought those were so cool, and we could probably do some really fun stuff with that for Halloween decorations. And then I picked up a set of the mesh lights in purple. Um, these are also super cool. I think these will be really fun to try and include in my Halloween wreath. I'm not sure how that'll work to plug it in. I gotta kind of think that through, but I think they, this would be really, really neat to incorporate into a wreath. And then the last set of lights I picked up was just these fall leaves. I thought those were super cute too. They'd be really fun on my mantle. Um, they would be really neat in a wreath again. So I really liked these ones as well. And then the last thing I picked up that I thought would be fun for wreath making or ear making was these little styrofoam balls. Um, so they're actually like glitter vase fillers, which I think would be really cute to put in like a clear vase. Um, but I also thought they would be fun to just like glue together, um, use them for ornaments, use them for ears, use them for wreaths. So I got a orange and green one. I got this one that feels a little bit more Christmassy, but definitely could be incorporated into kind of the autumn vibes. And then this one that had the kind of gold and brown in there. So I like these that also they can go across holidays. Um, there's greens in there, there's reds in there, there's golds. So I feel like I can use them for both fall. I can use them for Christmas as well. So excited to grab those. All right, so this stuff is super fun. Um, I have a couple things for a specific project in here, but then also just some cute and fun stuff for Wally. So once we get into like fall and Halloween, Wally and I love to do all sorts of fun little silly Halloween crafts. Um, so I picked up some of these. I thought these were adorable. So these are little felt stickers, but they're little witches hats. Um, I think there's like a little witch in there too, like the little witch feet. I just thought these were so Cute. So I'm excited to use these just for some silly fun crafts with him. Um, I also picked him up one of these. I think that this is going to come from the Great Pumpkin this year. Shh, don't tell Wally. Um, but the Great Pumpkin always likes to bring us fun crafts to do on the weekend. So I think those are both going to be Great Pumpkin gifts this year. 
Um, I also found these, which I thought were super cool. And again, I bought them because A, I thought they were really neat, um, but B, I also thought it would be kind of a fun project to study and see if we could make these ourselves. Um, so these are these, it's a really cool like folding lantern and then it has an LED tea light in it, um, which just for the LED tea light, it's a pretty good deal for a dollar, um, but it's just really neat. It has these cutouts on there and then it just folds up into a paper lantern. So I thought that was a really neat idea and I'm gonna study that and see if I could replicate this using my Cricut. So I was excited for that. I also found these awesome window clings. I love that they had a turkey and a pickup truck. So we have been decorating the window that goes right over our sliding glass door. Um, we have all of our like summer 4th of July stuff up there still, so excited to switch that out and get some fall stuff up there, and I thought these were super fun. And then I also found these because we like to decorate our front window as well. Um, I thought these were super fun and Wally loves to do these. So again, I think these are gonna be a great pumpkin gift. Um, he brought some of these for Wally last year and they're just super fun. Um, I remember having things like this when I was little and I love that Wally can really do them by himself too. Um, and I love that it was the trick or treat candy and then this one has all the monsters on it. So those were super cute. So this last stuff here is actually for a very specific crafting project that I have in mind. Um, I wanted to try and do, um, well two things, I want to try and make some Hocus Pocus ears this year because I think it'd be really, really fun, but I also want to try and do my very own Hocus Pocus spell book. Um, so I looked it up online, I've seen videos and walkthroughs and I feel like it's possible. Um, so I picked up this little notebook um, and I just thought I would cover it. I liked that it was a notebook because then it actually is like something that you could use. Um, and then basically you just use like hot glue and paint. Um, and then I picked up these plastic snakes because you use those to kind of wind throughout the book and put them like the snakes that, um, that Winifred has on her spell book. So I got some of those plastic snakes and then I picked up a couple cool Halloween florals that I thought I could mix in with my Halloween mantle display, but also with my wreaths. And then specifically, I think I'm gonna use these little eyeballs in here for the spell book. So I thought these were kind of fun and just really silly and I like that they have the little eyeballs in there. Um, so I think I probably will use them for some crafting. I think I'll probably end up taking the eyeballs out just for craft projects. Um, I don't necessarily like them in the flowers themselves, but then I can use the flower on my mantle because I think that's like, really fun in Halloween and I'm excited to decorate with those. So then the last few bags I got um, are more just like staple items at the dollar store that you can use just for really lots of different projects. The first thing I grabbed, and I mentioned this before, but it is, what do you call this stuff? Um, adhesive covering. So I grabbed some of these, a roll of adhesive covering in kind of the dark brown wood and then more of this like, um, lighter wood color. So these are really great for so many projects that I've seen in crafting videos. I thought these would be nice to have on hand, but like I said, you can cover like poster board with them and then it actually makes it look like it's a wooden frame. So I was excited that they had those and those were like the only ones they had in stock. And then I also picked up a bunch of rope. So they have this like decorative rope, they have this nautical rope, and then they have kind of the thinner, um, just like the jute cord, a big roll of the jute cord. Um, this is gonna be great for my little like leaf banner that I wanna make. Um, you can also wrap candles in them. Um, so these are all like great staple items to have from the Dollar Tree. And then I also grabbed a roll of this polka dot um, burlap ribbon. I just thought that was so cute. And then I have heard that these chalk writing pens are actually some of the best. So I definitely picked up one of those so that I can write some fun sayings on some of the chalk projects that I'm planning on doing this year. That was a staple I felt like I needed to have. And then I picked up a couple calendars and you might be thinking like, why would you want a calendar? Um, but they have some really cute calendars. There was one more that I wanted. Um, I think it's like the farmhouse calendar and that one was sold out, but I picked up both of these and it was sold out at both Dollar Trees. I tried. Um, so I picked up both of these, but what's great is they have 
like such cute artwork in them so you can actually just like cut out the images for the calendar pages and then you can do some really cute stuff with them so I'm really excited to use these and do some like framed work some decoupaging just decorative fun projects with both of these I think these will both be awesome artwork to have I can already tell you my sister-in-law would love anything with this moon here so I think they're just really cute and these have like some fun sayings in them um, I love the wine one I'm definitely gonna make some stuff to put up in our wine bar area I think that'll be really fun I also picked up two really nice frames um, they're both 8 by 10 frames so even like pulling out some of that artwork from those calendars you could put them in these frames um, I'm gonna use one of these frames for sure and put some fabric behind it with my little metal sayings that I have I think these are gonna be awesome for that so that was everything that I got at Dollar Tree which is a lot <laughs> but this is definitely um, this is definitely fall crafting supplies for a couple of years I have some really fun exciting projects that I'm planning on doing and hoping to do this fall I'll definitely make sure to share those with you guys as I'm doing those crafting projects um, but then like I said I also went to Joann's and picked up some stuff there so let me show you everything I picked up at Joann's all right well Joann's always gets me because I love their fabrics my mom is a big sewer she's incredibly talented um, it's a talent that I haven't quite picked up from her yet but it is a life goal of mine so I thought actually this would be a great season of life to start diving into that so one of the first things I picked up at Joann's was a lot of fun fall fabrics so I think we're gonna make a bunch of face masks um, but then my mom always keeps all of her scraps and it's always nice to have like fun fun fabrics laying around um, so I, the first round of fabrics I found, um, I loved these little candy corn candies and I love these fun skulls and cats and ravens. And then I got this polka dot fabric I thought looked great with both of these. Um, so it'll make like a nice backing for face masks and I thought those all went together really well. So that was the first round of fabric I got and then I found some for fall and Thanksgiving as well. I love these leaves and I love the little turkeys. They say gobble till you wobble which is definitely one of my favorite sayings for Thanksgiving every year. Um, I think it's so cute. Again, I think those will be some fun face masks that we can make. And then I got a bunch of this. Um, I just loved this burnt orange plaid. I'm planning on using this in some photo frames and doing some really fun different crafting projects with this. So excited to just have um, a couple of yards of this guy to do lots of fun stuff with. And then we did one more trip to Joann's and they had some different Halloween fabrics and so I had to do one more round of Halloween fabrics because I couldn't resist these. I thought this one was so cute for Wally. It's so cute. And then they had this one and I just couldn't resist getting this for Mark because it's all the monsters at the bar. I think it's so hilarious. I don't know what we're gonna do with that yet. I might just like kind of do like a framed thing or something I don't know but I think it's so so fun so I got that and then I found this fabric um, that goes with both of these as well that I thought would be good if we wanted to make some face masks to use as a backing for that so lots of fun fall fabrics and Halloween fabrics I couldn't resist that and I'm really excited to do some sewing projects with my mom and just um, just start thinking of some fun things to do. I might actually take some of these too and um, make some mini ears out of them. I think they'd be really cute mini ear fabrics. So I got that um, and then the rest of the stuff, well here actually I have two other specific crafting projects that I want to do this season. So I picked up some of this thick orange ribbon because I found this super cute fall craft that you can do with mason jar lids. So I have some orange spray paint and I'm going to spray the mason jar lids and then you wrap the fabric throughout it and it forms a pumpkin so I thought that was super super cute. And then I saw another one online um, that you can actually make the poison apple from Snow White. So I got myself a green apple and you actually take this with some red acrylic paint and some decoupage um, 
the Mod Podge and then make that like a really shiny red apple and the green ones just are bigger apples um, so they're better for that the red ones that they have are just smaller um, so I'm gonna make this into a red apple and then I got this really fun puffy paint um, that's like a glittery green so I'll make the poison apple on it and then I picked up two different ribbons to put on it um, I'm gonna make it kind of like a candy apple so put it on a stick and then I'm either gonna use this black and white plaid or the purple polka dot because I think of like kind of purple with the evil queen so I'm not really sure but I'm really excited to do this project I think that's gonna be super fun and then the rest of this stuff is just really fun crafting stuff that I'm looking forward to doing with Wally. So I picked us up two of these pop crafting kits. Um, they're the little sun catchers. We loved doing sun catchers for the summer this year. Um, I love that it's the little ice cream cone and then the sugar skull. So I'm excited to do both of those. Um, those will be coming from the Great Pumpkin. And then I picked up two rounds of stickers. I thought these were super fun. Um, this one's like little trick-or-treaters and like ghosts and skeletons and little monsters. Little haunted house. I love the little wiener dog skeleton. I think he's so cute. And then um, this one just looked super fun. I may have gotten this more for myself, but it's all the little treats and it's got like pumpkin spice lattes and little donuts and hot cocos and apples. So that one's just super cute and super fun. I love all of it. It's even got like Thanksgiving-y foods with like the corn and the sausages and the turkey and the candy apples and the little scarecrows. So super cute. I picked up two of these kits as well. Um, so these are both Thanksgiving ones. I loved that this was like kind of that stained glass turkey. So we did, um, if you saw our Christmas in July crafting vlog, we made our own little stained glass Christmas ones. And I really liked this one because it incorporated the felt pieces as well, um, or I guess the foam pieces. So I'm excited to um, try and replicate this ourselves. And I love that it was kind of does the stained glass effect on his tail. And then I also got this felt banner kit. I thought this was so cute. It's a little turkey felt banner. Really, really cute. Excited to try that one as well. They had a really good deal on their window cling, so I got some more of those. Um, these say just like Hello Fall, and they have leaves and little hedgehog and the raccoon. So I think these will be perfect to do fall, and then we can incorporate the turkey when we get a little bit closer to Thanksgiving. They had these adorable fuzzy monster stickers with the googly eyes. I think those are so fun. I'm excited to use those. And then this was something we had last year, but they're these giant googly eyes and they're so fun. They glow in the dark and Wally loves making giant cardboard monsters with these googly eyes. So those are super, super fun. And I couldn't resist these. They just were too fun. Um, I got some glitter glue and I thought these would be fun even for like future projects like Harry Potter and wizard crafts. So I got this one that is like purple and it's got stars in it. Love that one. And then I also got a black and orange one that's definitely a little bit more Halloween-esque that one is really really fun and then I couldn't resist these glitter skulls because a they're just so stinking cute um, and this one again feels very like Harry Potter to me it's got these little tiny gold stars in there I don't know if you can see that yeah, it's got these like adorable golden stars in there and then just like the black and purple so that was super super fun really excited for all the crafting that Wally and I are gonna do and these are supplies that'll last for a long time. I also picked up one of these giant pipe cleaner fuzzball eyeball kits because these are just great to always have on hand for all sorts of crafting projects and it was 40% off so I had to pick up one of those and these were so fun. They're little painting kits, which Wally loves doing the little painters, but they actually have the ribbon you can wind through it too. And he has a couple of those like old fashioned, like sewing toy toys like that, where you wind the um, string through it, like the shoelace through it. And these just looked so fun. So I thought we would have a lot of fun doing some like little sewing and painting with those. And then the final things that I found at Joann's are definitely just for me and they were so cute. And these were like, 
think they were like 50 cents once I got them on clearance. But they had these really cute, they're like little copper. Um, they had the little pickup truck. They had a pumpkin. This one says fall, y'all. It's so cute, I love it. And another little welcome. So I thought those were just really, really nice to have. And I also picked up a pack of this burlap paper. So it actually is like sheets of like burlap, which is really, really nice to have for lots of different crafting projects that I'm hoping to do. So that was nice. And then the last thing I got was a special little gift for myself because I'm so excited to decorate our patio and get into full fall mode. And I love the pumpkins. It's so pretty. So I cannot wait to put this out for fall. I'm trying to hold off until September is here. I'm filming this at the end of August and I'm trying really hard to hold off on decorating, but I might have to start next weekend. This was so much fun to share everything that we got. Um, hopefully you guys don't think I'm crazy because I know that was a lot of fall stuff <laughs> lots of fall and halloween i think we're we're trying to make the most of it this fall and halloween and just really trying to make things feel special and fun and have fun different projects and things to look forward to here at home because we're not traveling we were supposed to go on a trip to disney world in october and we made the decision to cancel that um just didn't feel like the right time for us to be traveling with our little guy he's four and he's just so busy um and that just felt really really hard trying to take on everything with face masks and being in the parks right now so uh, we're staying home and we're gonna do a lot of fun at home projects instead. Don't forget to give us a big like, hit that subscribe button if you're not already because I've got lots of fun fall videos coming your way here in the next couple months and we're excited to bring you guys along on those adventures. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the wonderful world of Walter and we love you just the way you are. Bye!